In this part of the mechanical training series, we are going to take an intensive look at an animation in SimLab Composer. The animation that we are going to make is for the tractor moving outside the warehouse through this door to the left. From the Workbenches menu, select the Animation Workbench. The panel at the bottom is automatically switched to the Animation tab where you find the Animation Timeline. The animation timeline is an interactive diagram where the object's attributes are stored as keys at each instance in time. Move the red slider, which controls the current frame, to frame 60. Select the door's assembly and move it upwards. You will notice that SimLab Composer automatically created two keyframes in the timeline. The first frame at frame 0, denoting the initial state of the door where it was closed. And the second keyframe at frame 60, denotes the state of the door while it was open. Rewind the animation and set it to the starting frame by clicking the corresponding button, then play the animation. As you can see, SimLab Composer has created a smooth transition of the door opening throughout the frames 0 to 60. Hold control on your keyboard and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out by scrolling it, or pan in all four directions by clicking and holding the mouse wheel while the control key is still held. The first slider to the left controls the starting frame in the animation timeline. Drag the slider horizontally to set the frame at which the animation will start when you press play. You can also move the other slider to determine the last frame of the animation in the same manner. Let us proceed to animating the tractor. From the Geometry menu under Paths, select Composite Path. In the Path Creation dialog, you can determine the method of creation for the path. Keep it set to Pick Path in 3D and click OK. What we are going to do now is draw a path that will guide the tractor outside the warehouse. Click on the ground beneath the tractor to set the first point of the curve. Place the second point in front of the tractor. Since the motion of the tractor needs to bend now towards the door, we are going to change the type of the curve to B-spline instead of linear. Now place the third point towards the door, and continue to add path points until the path reaches a place outside the warehouse. Click on the green mark to finish the creation process of the path. To have the tractor follow the path in animation, select the tractor's main assembly. From the Object Animation menu, select Follow Path. In the Path Animation dialog, you can determine the first and last frame of the tractor's animation, as well as the constant speed factor. Click on Pick Path and select the path that you have created earlier. Now you have the option to rotate the tractor to determine the side of it that would lead the animation and have its angle parallel to the path. But since the first two points in the path we created are already in front of the tractor, there would be no need to adjust the tractor's rotation. Click on the green mark to finish the animation creation. Now that the tractor is moving following the path, the next step to take is animating the wheel's rotation. Select the first level in the front left wheel assembly, and from the Object Animation menu, select Wheel Animation. In the Wheel Animation dialog, we are going to determine the first and last frame of the animation. Set the first frame to 0, and the last frame to 350 to match the tractor's movement animation. 
Next, we are going to set the number of revolutions the wheel is going to make throughout the 350 frames assigned to it. Set it to 10 revolutions, and set the direction of the rotation to counterclockwise. Click on Pick Center. The center of the wheel's animation will determine the axis and point at which the wheel will turn. So you can either click on the middle of the rim, or you can switch the selection mode to center of the curvature, and click on any loop in the wheel to set its center as the center of the wheel's animation. Let's create an additional animation for the rear wheel following the same steps as done earlier. Select the wheel's assembly, and from the object's animation menu, select Wheels Animation. Keep all the settings as the previous wheel, but change the number of revolutions to a lower number, since this wheel is larger than the front wheel. Continue by creating a revolving animation for all the remaining wheels. Now that the wheels are turning as the tractor is moving, we can add an extra touch on the animation and make the front wheels turn to the right as the tractor is turning. Since we have created a revolution animation on the wheel first level assembly, we need to create the second animation on a different level from the previous one. With the current frame set to any number except frame 0, select the wheel's main assembly and slightly rotate it to the right. To adjust the wheel turn timing, you can simply select the keyframes in the timeline and drag them horizontally. Make sure that the first frame in the wheel turning animation is set to a frame where the tractor starts turning to the right. Keep in mind that you can modify an object state after the keyframe has been created by setting the current keyframe to that specific frame and modifying the object state to override the old keyframe's stored state. Rotate the wheel on the other side as well to match the left wheel's animation. Now select both wheels main assembly from the object tree to the left to display their keyframes in the timeline. Adjust the placement of the keyframes to make sure that both wheels animate at the same time. The last step is making sure that the wheels return to their default position as the tractor finishes making its turn. To do that, select the last keyframe in the wheels animation and press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to make a copy of it. 
Now drag the newly replicated keyframe to the frame where the tractor stops turning and moves in a straight line. Having replicated keyframes following each other will assure that no transition will happen between the two keyframes, and the object's state will remain the same. Now to make the wheels turn back to their default position, copy the first frame of the wheels animation and place towards the end of the animation. Now you can modify the timing of the animations by dragging the keyframes, making sure that the animation has a smooth and realistic feel to it. SimLab Composer's Animation Workbench offers powerful and easy-to-use tools that can bring your model to life and turn the creation process of a 3D model into an easy and enjoyable task.